Hello everyone. In this address, we have to find the member forces GH, GC and CD. We have to find them by method of sections. In the point A, there is a hinged support and in the point E, there is a roller support. In the hinged support, there will be two reactions and in the roller support, there will be only one reaction. Here, there is only vertical reaction. Let us find VA. To find that, I am going to take moment about E. VA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 16. All four of these loads are acting in the anti-clockwise direction. So all of them will be negative. For this load, the distance is 16. For this load, the distance is 12. For this load, it is 8. And for this load, it is 4. For VA, we will get 65 kN. Now let us apply the rule sigma V is equal to 0. VA and VE are acting upwards, so both of them are positive. These four loads are acting downwards, so they will be negative. When we add these four, we will get 110. For VE, we will get 45 kN. Now let us apply the rule sigma H is equal to 0. In this address, there is no horizontal load, so HA will be 0. We need to find the member forces GH, CG and CD. To find these three, we have to make a section like this. So all three are cut. We can take either the left side or the right side. Let us take the right side. It will be easy for us. First, I am going to find FGH. To find FGH, we can take movement about to C. When we take movement about C, we should not consider FCG and FCD. So, it will be very easy to find FGH. Let us keep clockwise as positive and anticlockwise as negative. This reaction is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 8. This load is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 4. FGH is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 4. For FGH, we will get a negative value that means it is compressive. Now I am going to find the FCD. To find the FCD, we can take a moment about G. When we take a moment about G, we should not consider FGH, FCG and 40. The remaining forces are FCD and 45. 45 is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 4. FCD is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 4. For FCD, we will get a positive value that means it is tensile. Now let us apply the rule sigma v is equal to 0 and find FCG. FCG is inclined, we have to resolve it in the vertical direction. To resolve it, we need this angle. The distance of CD is 4 meter and the distance of GD is also 4 meter. In this case, the angle should be 45 degree. Since FCG is acting downwards, it will be negative and we have to multiply with the cos 45. This 40 is acting downwards, so it is also negative. 45 is acting upwards, so it will be positive. For FCG, we will get a positive value. That means it is tensile. Now, we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.